Well, good morning, everybody. It's Chris, your YouTube daddy here. Welcome to a very wet Monday morning. It is quarter to ten in the morning. That's it. Glasgow weekend is all over. All the jocks have gone home. Well, there's still a few about, but uh, most of them have gone home now. And I'm just going off to the arcade now. But it's a bit meh today. The weather's not very good at all. So only a month to go till the end of the season. Anyway, just to let you know, I will not be open on the arcade on Thursday. So that's this Thursday, the 3rd of October. I will be closed for the whole day. So I'm just letting people know. I will let people know on the internet as well, on the older Facebook malarkey and stuff like that. I will be closed on Thursday. It's me going off playing politics. We've got a local by-election in Blackpool for one of the uh, council awards. And so I'm off playing politics. You know I only have uh, two hobbies in life. Playing arcades and playing politics. So on Thursday, I'll be closed for playing politics. To be fair, it'll be pretty quiet this week. We've not got a lot left of the season. We've got this Saturday coming, which is obviously the fireworks. It'll be busy then. And then we got a half term, which is at the end of October. And that's it, really. Bits and pieces in between. But it does go really quiet during the week now. And it's certainly not going to do a lot today with this type of weather. I believe it's forecast like this for the rest of the week. So we're just going down... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Waterloo Road. And then we'll um, head on down to the to the arcade. Actually, I might I might pop to Abington Street to grab some breakfast first. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I'll go to Abington Street first. Well, I will do as soon as this lorry goes. It's not the lorry's fault. There's a taxi in front that's uh, just decided to stop in the middle of the road to drop passengers off. We have a better look now of where the uh, the Christmas shop used to be, Hearth Building, the original Woolworths. You can see there, there's a big gap now. So they've knocked the whole building down now, and all they're basically doing is crunching the uh, uh, the concrete and stuff like that. I believe it's going to be initially a car park, and then after that, there's plans to build apartments or something. But I think initially it's just going to be a car park. It looks so much better already, not being there. That didn't take long to knock it down, did it? So we'll drive along the front, we'll go up to, uh, I'm going to go for breakfast actually. Well, it's a quarter to ten now, so we'll get there about ten o'clock. I might have some potatoes. Ooh, we never know. I do hope so. I'm in no particular rush to get to the arcade. I still have an half eleven, but uh, everything's basically ready. And the slush doesn't take that long because it's quite cold now. It doesn't take long for the slush to uh, to slush up for obvious reasons. It's cold. Well, we'll see how many people are milling about. Not a lot, I would imagine. As a general rule, I'm going to generalise it now. But as a general rule, on the end of Glasgow weekend is normally reasonably busy up until about one o'clock. However, with the rain today that's set in for the day, uh, it won't be that busy today. A lot of the, uh, the Scottish would have gone home yesterday. We're still going to tickle off it. <coughs> tickle off it. <coughs> but certainly by one, two o'clock. It'll be absolutely dead. So we just go past the Lindy. I said we're heading up to a ward. Uh, we're going to go to Abington Street first. Pardon. Yeah, we're 
I've got plenty of time. At least we can have a nice drive along as well, can't we? Yeah, I just had one of them severe weather warning alarms on my phone saying we've, we've got well, yellow weather warnings here for the uh, uh, heavy rain. A lot of surface water, as you can see already, it's starting to... Uh, there's a lot of surface water on the uh, tram tracks. I wouldn't fancy driving the motorways today. Uh, the coach has started to uh, turn up now to pick the uh, pick the people up and take them home. And like a typical Monday, they'll drop them off at home, and then they'll pick up a load more, and then they'll bring them back to Blackpool. That's your Monday for Friday the brigade. That Scotty's got it. Does that ever close? I'm just looking to my right hand side uh, by Pat's, and you got Scotty's got it. It's always, it always seems to be open all the time, no matter what the weather, what time of the year it is, it's always open. No, so it's we've got it. It used to be called Scotty's got it, but I think it was bought out. So, anyone watching here? Was you here the weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Oh my God, Pete's there. He's not open, but the uh, he's there because I can see the front, uh, one of the front shutters is open. My God, Pete's there before ten o'clock in the morning. So the next big thing that'll be happening in Blackpool, obviously after the. Uh, uh, the fireworks, the fireworks final on Friday, on Saturday, sorry, is they'll be setting up Christmas by the sea. Obviously, that's our version of the Christmas market. Now, I believe it's been extended this year. Uh, it's not just on the comedy carpet. It's been extended up to the uh, side of uh, Central Pier, I believe. over a month left till the end of season. As you know, I close on the 3rd of November, which is a Sunday, at about four o'clock, as a general rule. Not that I'm counting down the hours or anything like that. the old Beaver Vegas diner. I'm going to pop into the real Vegas sometime this week. I'm going to machine to swap. So I'll do a video when I go in there. That's the real Vegas, the big arcade, Metro arcade. Uh, I'm swapping the machine. And so I'm going to pop in there sometime this week. Now it's gone quiet. Okay, I need to, uh, to make a correction. I called this place next to me Brannigan's, it's not, it's Shenanigans. So I sound corrected on that. It's not Brannigan's, it's Shenanigans. Brannigan's is up, uh, up Talbot Road. What was I thinking? It's called Shenanigans, not Brannigan's. So I stand corrected. Somebody did leave a comment in the, uh, the comments the other day, just to prove I do read all the comments. And I'm happy to report, I am bang on top of all the comments now. I've read all the comments and replied to them. We're here by North Pier. Not a lot open. You can certainly see the summer's over now, can't you? Now, apparently, somebody was telling me that as of uh, as of, I think it's this week, they they stopped they stopped doing the uh, the trams up Talbot Road for some reason. I don't know why. 
but apparently they're not doing them now until uh, till next season. I don't know how true that is. Somebody said something about it. It was something to do with the amount of people uh, had the illuminations or the, tra the traffic illuminations or something like that. I have no idea. But they spent all that money to run them for a couple of months. I don't know. They can see to the parking space outside the uh, Abington Street Market, Abington Street Barbecue, sorry. You can normally park here on the right hand side, that's a loading only base. You've got 15 minutes there, but there's no space. Like you say, you've got to be careful parking around here because the traffic waters are red hot around here. Oh, there's a bit of a queue on. Oh, I'm not that hungry. Oh, the place is packed. Nah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that hungry. I'll pick a sandwich up from the shop or something like that. Well, no breakfast for me today then. If there had been a parking space, I'd have probably waited because there wasn't a parking space. I would have ended up having to park illegally and the chances are they probably ended up with a parking ticket because there was quite a big queue there. So if you are planning to come to Blackpool this year, this is your last chance really over the next month. Don't get me wrong, it's still open during the winter, you know, it doesn't close, there are still things open, but a lot less is open obviously, as of the 3rd of November. Historically, the end of season was always the uh, the first Sunday in November. Now there's still, there was Christmas by the sea and stuff like that, there are still a few things open, but a lot of people like myself, we close for the winter because you don't get the level of people anymore because obviously during the season you get a large amount of people which is what you need to do especially when selling the same burgers for a pound I need to have volume uh, but there's still people about but nowhere near the level for obvious reasons it's cold, it's wet, it's raining the Christmas of the sea is pretty good though to be fair I have been to that a couple of times and they do quite a good one here. But I know that there's markets all over the country, so every town there seems to have its own Christmas market nowadays. So we won't be looking at people have asked me, we're not doing Telford Market this year. We were gonna do it, but we're not gonna do it this year now. We decided against it. One, I've got too much work to do in the house. Yeah, you know, we're, I've just moved and I've got loads of work to do in the house in November and December before I go on holiday in January. So I thought the time's going to be better spent uh, finishing unpacking the house and uh, doing all the decorating and maintenance that I need to do in the house. So we're not going to be doing the Christmas market this year. So I won't be going to down to Telford this year. I know a lot of people have asked me about that. And to be fair, the Christmas markets aren't what they used to be. They used to be really good, but as I said, what's happened is a, a lot, lots and lots and lots of towns are doing them now, so it's kind of diluted them down. When you only had a few about, they were really busy. You'd have people from the towns going to them, but they have been diluted quite a lot now. Yep, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to nip to the arcade and go and put my slush machine on. It's only 10 o'clock, so we'll go, we'll go grab a brew of pizza as well. So what I'll do is I'll nip to the arcade first. I 
I'm just gonna nip in into my slush machine on. I'll leave the camera running. It'll only be a minute, it won't take me long. I just need to go in there and click a button and I'll be back in one minute, guys. I told you it wouldn't be long. I see that, that, see that fine rain today, it's horrible. I really can't see it being busy today. I'm gonna go over to Pizza and grab a brew. I'm more intrigued to see what he's doing here at this time. Normally still sat sleeping, sleep in his bed at this time of night. Tony's here nice and early. That's Tony's tattoos. We'll go inside and see uh, see what's going on. We're going to have to make a mad dash rush now. Where is he? He's parked in his car. Oh, look at the puppy cats, the puppy dogs. Oh, there's one dog. I don't know which one that is. There's another dog. Oh, 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 oh okay. Pretty. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? So if you want cake, see you down see James uh, <coughs> Cafe. The dogs agree with me as well. Look at how pretty that is. Look at the beautiful <coughs> cakes. I don't, I'm not a cake <coughs> person myself, but uh, yes, I know, I know. You want a stroke, do you? Do you want a stroke? Do you want a stroke? Are you waiting for a stroke? So look at all the pretty cakes. Anyway guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe. I don't know where Pete is, but he'll be here somewhere. Oh god, that rain's coming down horribly today. Oh dear, we're all doomed, that's he'll it, it's all, it's all over. He's coming now, he's soaking. Here you are, here you are. Soaking. They're dancing in the rain. Here he is, the here he is. Oh my god, he's got me. Here he is. <laughs> Who's the daddy? I'm the daddy. What an horrible day. We've been here since nine. What have you been here since nine for? <laughs> yes, I know, I know. So I'm going to come in and have a brew now. And don't forget, guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll leave the last word to me. <laughs> what are you doing in here? I come for a brew. Who invited you? I don't need an invite. I'm the daddy of Blackpool. Anyway, lovely day, lovely day for ducks. Horrible day. Lovely day for ducks. See you later, guys. Bye for now.